Yo, listen to me, man. Fear of missing out is dangerous. You know when we talked about peer pressure as a kid, like adults would be like, peer pressure is bad. FOMO, fear of missing out is the cousin of peer pressure. And the reason why I say this is because FOMO is like peer pressure without the peers. It's just you applying pressure to yourself to be engaging in certain activities without the peers. The peers might be pressuring you, but the FOMO is what really gets you. And the reason why I think it's even more dangerous, right, is because peer pressure, I feel like most of us start to get over that when we're like 16. Maybe someone said, oh man, like let's go, go and take Lynx cans and, and make flamethrowers. By the time you're 18, 19, you're probably like, yeah, bro, that's not really, what I'm about. Good luck to you wherever you're going. But the FOMO, the fear of missing out on a good motive with your friends who might be going to a club and they're gonna draw four or five gal. You're gonna miss out on that. Ah, yeah, man, I think you, I think you should go to the motive. Just uh, I think you should go to the motive. Where does it actually come from though? This fear of missing out. Is it loneliness? Is it anxiety? Maybe a combination of both. Okay, so I'm all for going to events and places that you genuinely want to go to, as long as it's not disrupting your routine and your schedule. I say this, I go to places that do disrupt my routine and schedules all the time because I've got the biggest problem when it comes to fear of missing out because I've been taught, you know, you go to places, most of the time it should benefit you. Rather than staying in the house, could it benefit you to actually go to this event? What could happen. I'm someone that thinks of the possibilities that are out there. But a lot of the time I can go to these places that I've gone to just because there was a fear of missing out and nothing happens. And in fact, it would have been better to just stay at home. How we can distinguish a difference between these possible outcomes, I don't know because most of us are not fortune tellers. That being said, I wanted to speak to you guys about a few of the things that this fear of missing out can lead to. Negative outcomes, essentially. And maybe if you have these in your mind, you might second guess whether it is worth it for you to step out of the house and go to one of these places. Now, when I'm talking about this, I'm thinking like when you're going out clubbing and stuff, but of course this can be applied to many scenarios. Maybe it's a distant friend's birthday or second cousin's wedding or something like that. Anywhere where you feel like, oh, if I don't go, I'm gonna be missing out. Hence the term FOMO. So of course, the first thing that it can lead to is just a motive that wasn't worth going to anyway. So you may have gotten dressed up in your latest strip. Everything is flashy and you step out and you go to a club and you pay 20 pounds to get in and it's just dead quiet. There's no one there. You and your friends are just disappointed because the vibe isn't there. You somehow can't muster up the vibe yourselves between the three of you. And so then you've just kind of wasted your time and you've gotten psyched up for a motive that wasn't worth it. That's probably lower down the list in terms of the worst things that can happen. You know, it's kind of like you took a gamble, could have been good, could have been bad, but it, it can get way worse than this. Now I spoke about the waste of money, 20 pound entry fee, but for some of my friends that are still drink and still do other things, you can waste money on the entry free on the cloakroom which is only like £2.50 so don't worry about that the food after and then all the drinks that you're going to be spending on the motive all right so you end up wasting a lot of money and you can potentially come home with a big hole in your pockets and dissatisfied with the night just because you were scared of missing out on the night bad habits can be picked up depending on where you're going to you could pick up some bad habits for example let's say you didn't want to miss out on your mates going to a strip club for the first time and you thought okay yeah i don't want to miss out on this strip club experience they're all going to be talking about lap dances that they've got and you're going to be sitting at home thinking damn i've got no lap dance you might go to the strip club and pick up a bad habit of wanting to get lap dances every weekend. I know it sounds crazy, bro, but you never know, okay? And some of these lap dances can lead to other things. And then also your energy depleted, okay? You go to somewhere where you didn't even have enough energy to go to, but you just thought, hey, I need to, I need to go because I don't want to miss out on these experiences. And now you come home, you've got no energy and you messed up your routine, okay? This is one of the main things for me, I went out with my mates to like a clubbing event, knowing that I had a driving lesson the next day. I had a driving lesson early on in the morning and I thought, yeah, I can soldier it. I can go there, come home and sleep and still be in time for the lesson. Yeah, sure, you might be in time for whatever is needed to be done, but the energy was stolen. I didn't have enough energy to recover. So I've got in the car now, I'm driving. My instructor knows 
that I'm not performing to my best. And so they just cut the lesson short. They said, hey, listen, don't, don't come out with me if you've been out clubbing the night before, please, because you're gonna waste my time, you're gonna waste your time, and you're gonna waste your money. I'm glad that I actually have a structure that cares about all of that stuff. I could have easily been with someone that noticed that I wasn't performing to the best of my ability and continued the lesson. Just bear that in mind, guys. You don't wanna be taking away from opportunities that matter more just because you're scared of missing out on something that could be good. High risk, low reward type of opportunities. I say high risk, it's, it's more like medium risk, but you know, depending on what you've got going on, it could be a high risk. So how are we supposed to combat this whole fear of missing out? For me, I think we need to remind ourselves that there are always gonna be more opportunities and we need to really weigh up how good of an opportunity actually is. Club nights are one of a thousand, right? Like there are gonna be many opportunities for you to go out clubbing. Something like your friend's 25th birthday party though, you might want to attend because that only happens once of course there are many years but 25 is quite a big number for some people so you might feel obliged to go to that and i don't think you would regret going which is another thing now is do you think that you would regret going if you didn't go or if you did go both of these questions you ask yourself and you can really get to the crux of whether this opportunity to attend said event or anything is worth it and if you do go to whatever event slash motive this is are you going to be taken away from something else something that is potentially more important if you are then you would probably be wise to reconsider attending it's a tough one guys especially for us extroverts out there that always want to be out and about this is something that i'm pretty sure i struggle with a lot this whole fear of missing out i attend pretty much every event that my friends say yo let's go to even if i'm not feeling well even if i'm kind of done in the dumps like it will take a lot for me to say no i love my friends man what can i say at the end of the day as your friend i've got you stay tuned for more videos see you soon ciao